This morning, our new Director of Religious Education, Tracy Dr Goforth, will be sharing the message for all ages. Hi. I am Tracy Goforth. I am your new Director of, excuse me, your new Director of Religious Ed um, Exploration. And first of all, I want to thank you, all of you who have so warmly and graciously welcomed me into your community. You are all so friendly and kind. It's been a joy to meet you and get to know you and begin to start to work with you. I also want to give a special thanks to Melanie Jacobson, who has been my first contact here and who has so graciously and wonderfully represented um, the Live Oak community and um, in such a positive and genuine way and who has just taken care of all aspects of helping me settle into my new role here. So thank you, Melanie. <laughs> Um, I know that Melanie told you a little bit about me last week, and I'll tell you a little bit more. And the first thing I want to say is that I love your children already. You guys are amazing. Um, last week I got to know a bit um, Josette, Laura, Dor Dorothy, Nate, Aiden, and Jacob. We had a really good time, and you all are incredible kids, and I'm really happy that I'll get to work with you each week. So I come to you by way of the downtown congregation, and I, where I served as the children's religious education coordinator for the past three years. And we had a large children's program there, and I'm looking forward to bringing some of the aspects of what we did there into growing our program here. Um, I'm also an alumni of both San Marcos and Star King Parent-Child Workshop, and it was there that I got a really strong foundation in um, cutting-edge child development education, and what I later realized was my first introduction to the UU principles and philosophy. Um, treat each other, everybody's important, treat each other kindly with fairness and respect, take care of the earth. This is what we practiced every single day. We taught the kids there and as parents and teachers we practiced ourselves. I think the thing that prepares me most for my work here is the most important job I have ever had, and that is being a mother. I am mom to Jaya, who is my six-year-old daughter, and who you will all meet very soon, probably later today at the park. And um, I have always been struck by how lucky I am to be the one to take care of this sweet soul. and to um, just care for her in this world, to instill in her the values of love, kindness, truth, fairness, to help her learn, explore, and blossom into her own true self. And it is a gift and one that I cherish. I've also been a yoga instructor for the past 15 years, and I've been blessed to work with so many different people, different ages, different modalities. Um, I've worked with pregnant women, children, adults of all ages. In fact, my, my oldest student, one of my current students, is 90 years old. Um, the style of yoga I teach is vinyasa, and vinyasa means to flow from one thing to the next, like water. So water can be calm, gentle, receiving at times. It can be strong, powerful, transformative at times. It ebbs and flows. It can be contained when it needs to, and it can knock down barriers when it needs to. And these are essential qualities of being a parent, of being in a relationship, and of being a teacher. We are all teachers in our own ways, and as a congregation we have the honor, the responsibility to guide our children, to provide a safe space to learn, explore, and grow, and share with them our talents, our gifts, our interests, ourselves. I am especially grateful to Gloria Liggett, who as interim DRE stepped in during a time of transition to love these kids up and help them feel grounded during a time of change. She's a true teacher who saw what needed to be done and stepped in to do it. And now it's time to build upon her work, to flow into the next stage and to grow our program. And you'll see in the coming months that that's exactly what we're going to do, but we cannot do it without you. We need you as teachers. We need you as part of our program. You're essential. And as a volunteer in RE, I promise that you'll feel supported. You will be supported. We'll give trainings. We'll have lesson plans, curriculum, we'll give workshop ideas, and offer support in the classroom. Whatever you need to feel comfortable and successful. We will not leave you adrift. 
and to you kids, I promise that our program will reflect what interests you and to give you a place not only to explore what it means to be a UU, but what it means to be you in your family, in your life, a safe place where you will always be accepted and loved for who you are. So the foundation of this is love. And one thing from my very short time here is so clear to me is that we have love in abundance here in this room among all of you. So much love and it's an incredible, amazing place to begin. Because when we flow from the foundation of love, there is nothing that we can't do. So I'll leave you today with um, some words from Thich Nhat Hanh, who as I'm sure many of you know is a Buddhist monk and world peace activist. And he writes, the source of love is deep within us and we can help others realize a lot of happiness. One word, one action, one thought can reduce another person's suffering and bring him joy. One word can give comfort and confidence, destroy doubt, help someone avoid a mistake, reconcile a conflict, or open the door to liberation. One action can save a person's life or help him take advantage of a rare opportunity. One thought can do the same because thoughts always lead to words and actions. If love is in our heart, every thought, word, and deed can bring about a miracle. So I look forward to working with you all, and most especially, working with you all. So thank you.